Hi! If you guys came from my previous video, you'll probably know that I'm in a writing slump and it's not doing me any favors during my vacation where I feel like that this is the opportunity for me to read a lot of books and to get a lot of things done in my life. I'm also in this just like this weird headspace in this weird slump and one of the tips that I gave to my viewers and a tip that I'm trying to implement myself as well is to reread favorites of mine and to just fall in love with reading again. I feel like that's like one of the main components of why I'm in this reading slump and it's because I've been picking out books that are just three out of five stars that are just not reminding me of how fun reading can be and when you reread books it doesn't necessarily need to be a 300 page read or a 500 page read in order for you to feel accomplished I feel like we can just reread shorter books that make me feel good and that make me feel accomplished so that I can get the ball rolling and that I can start reading longer and longer books the skinny is that we should just pace ourselves and we should not force ourselves into reading long series, long books, just because we feel like the need to read those books. So here are some recommendations that I'm going to be rereading myself. So here are some recommendations that you can read in a very short amount of time. They're usually novellas. They're just on the shorter end that will make you smile and that will make you happy. So the first book that I want to talk about is this one actually from Cassie Mint. It's called Woke Up Wed and it's part of her Bombshell Bride series. Now this one follows one of my favorite tropes. It follows a uh, secretary falling in love with her boss going away on a vacation and then waking up married so it is a marriage of convenience it is just like a false marriage situation where our hero wants to stay married because he's been secretly pining over our heroine for the longest time and now it's up to him to convince her to stay married and I just remember this being like a light angsty romantic novella that made me smile and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too if you haven't read it already. So the next book is called Runaway Bride and this one is following the mafia trope. So our heroine is a mafia princess and she has been arranged to be married to this mafia king and basically she is scared of her wits because she doesn't want to marry this guy. This guy has been rumored to have killed his father and his brother and she's just scared and then now she's trying to run away and he is going to catch her and to claim her as his and it was fun it was entertaining I definitely don't like mafia reads as much as the next person does but I found this one to be super cute and super heartwarming too so the next book that I want to recommend you is a book in the series as well it's called fake fiance and this one is a really entertaining one so this one involves a royal family um her sister and her they look alike I think they're twins and basically her sister is engaged to this prince but then afterwards they never met in real life before because it's just an arranged marriage um, and then the sister ends up running away to fall in love with uh, someone else. Now our heroine doesn't want to have her whole family humiliated because of her sister's choice in running away so she decides to step in and take her place so that she can save the reputation of her family and she thinks that she has completely fooled our hero and our hero ends up falling in love with the wrong sister anyways which is our heroine and it was super cute. The next book that I want to recommend from Cassie Mid is this one called Coffee Crush. Now this one is following a hero that is on the huskier side so if you guys like a big hero definitely check this one out. This one involves our heroine who is a little bit younger than him and she is having this forbidden crush on her neighbor which is our hero who is huskier and he treats her really nicely he treats her really sweetly but then she wants more and she is always trying to get more out from him get a reaction get him to ask her out get him to do a lot of things and he is just trying to stay on his side of the fence because he knows that he is too old for her that she can do a lot better and you know he has a lot of insecurities about himself too as well but this was just like a kind of like a really sweet caring story if you like novellas where there is someone taking care of the heroine then you'll definitely like this one okay so speaking of which of kind of like taking care of someone um if you guys are into monster romances then the next three recommendations are for you i fell in love with monster romances because of this author specifically so if you haven't read her yet definitely 
definitely go check her out. Her name is Harpy Alexander and I absolutely adore this novella series called Monsters and Romance. So basically Tarnished by the Troll involves our heroine who is kind of being stalked by her ex-boyfriend. Her ex-boyfriend is abusive and he is just not the best person so she decides to try to escape the city for a bit, take some time off for herself and she ends up getting herself into trouble when she crosses over like this bridge and she's being chased by I think the ex-boyfriend and then our hero who is a troll kind of steps in and airs the ex-boyfriend away and then the trolls like as repayment now you're mine and so then now they become like kind of like faded mates. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. It was such a fun angsty read. It was smoking hot too as well so definitely check out Harpy Alexander. So continuing on with that series I also really enjoyed Electrified by the Eel. So this one is a fun one because this one involves our heroine who just like wandering in the woods one day and then the eels themselves have this whole culture thing where there's very little male eels and then there's like a lot of female eels and then on on like this one certain day like all the female eels try to stake claim on the male eels and our hero wants to be by himself because he wants to fall in love before he's being forced to like be in a marriage and be forced to have reproduction and then like you know he's just very sensitive on that side and he ends up meeting our heroine and he ends up falling in love with her and they become faded mates. It was very different from all the other monster romances that I've read or just in general of all the romances that I've read with heroes because I felt like our hero is more sensitive and more in tune with his emotions and I just felt more connected to our hero because he was willing to express his emotions so much and I really enjoyed it. So the next book that I read from this series is called Captured by the Centaur and now this one was really fun too as well because if you really like survival instincts in your books, like just survival elements in your books, then you're gonna really enjoy this one because this one involves our heroine just being in the wrong place at the wrong time, almost getting killed by all these like, you know, monsters and creatures. You know, she was captured, she was um, sold to this place and to make money. And um, if I remember correctly, she also has like a disability. So it made her less attractive. So she's struggling to find money and to earn money for ends meet. And our hero comes in and rescues her. And it was just such a nice, lovely read because it had that element of the wild side, the survival side. They were in a cave at one point with very forced close proximity. And I just remember devouring this novella. Like it was just, I couldn't read quick enough. So the next series that I have to recommend to you, it's like a tried and true series that I really liked. Um, it's one that I've reread maybe like three times now because that's how I'm, obsessed I was with like the three heroes in this trilogy. So Stolen to Remember by Alexa Riley. Alexa Riley is no longer available on Amazon anymore. You have to go on Apple Books for it, but it's well worth going to Apple Books. You can also go to Kobo. Kobo has like their own like Kindle Unlimited version of themselves and Alexa Riley books are available on Kobo Unlimited. But needless to say, Stolen to Remember is about our heroine who got into an accident had amnesia does not remember much and her husband takes her to an island that he and his brothers owned and they said to each other that they are never going to bring any females to the island because that's their island where they're going to be a brotherhood you know that's their space to be together and like nobody should else should be on this island so the other brothers are shocked that a he's married and b that they're bringing a girl to the island but then they soon realize that you know she is perfect for him and it's like this whole time where they're just spending more time with each other so that she can remember their relationship and re-fall in love with him it was so good I loved it so much and obviously I was intrigued by the other brothers. The next brother is in Stolen to Keep and basically this brother is kind of like the joking one. Like he's the comedic relief. He doesn't take things too seriously. So he's been like playing around, fooling around and playing the game. So he's been tasked by his older brother to bring his wife's sister 
brother to the island as well. He is dealing with this like very feisty type of girl who is really focused in school and who only wants to do well in school and has no time to play games, especially fool around with someone who might not ever be serious with his emotions and his feelings. Um, so they spend a lot of time together because she still needs to be in school and they're in danger. So he's there to protect her and he has this alpha protectiveness in him. And it was just so cute to watch him, you know, be very serious, especially when it's towards her health and towards her safety. It definitely won me over because I really don't like joking characters like this sometimes. And then the last one is called Stolen to Love. And this one was kind of like my favorite trope of all tropes. It involves like a really grumpy, gross hero who is very upset at his other brothers for bringing these females to the island because he thought that they were going to be single forever they're going to be bachelors forever and it's just going to be you know them against the world but then now they both have fallen in love with their respectable like girlfriends and their wives so he feels left out and one of the things that he hates the most is the fact that there is another female on the island and that she is not giving him any attention and he He's very curious and very annoyed about the fact that this girl won't pay attention to him and this girl is our heroine. This girl is a doctor and she is hired to be staying on the island to take care of you know the females on the island because one of them is pregnant and she is there to help make sure that the delivery is safe and so she has no time for him too as well because she's been hurt in the past and she just wants to focus on her job and her career but obviously the chemistry is like off the charts and they always gravitate towards each other it was just perfection watching them put down their walls and to not be stubborn anymore and to actually fall in love but anyways i went through a lot of novellas that i really enjoyed and that i really liked that got me out of a slump thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys again next time in a new one bye <music>